Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Romoliotis, aka PD Beats. PD Beats here from Pop Turnative, speaking to Thomas Shabbat from the Ottawa Senators. Welcome back to the show, man. It's so good to see you. Thank you. Thanks for having me. It's great. It's good, good to be back. I mean, we're losing count how many times we've been on the show now, eh? There's like the Instagram Lives and the World Junior Specials. Like, I don't know. I think maybe we're at like six or seven or something. It's pretty It's pretty impressive, I have to say. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's been, uh, there's been a few times. No, it's good to be back. Every time we just make it a nice little conversation and make it fun. So uh, it's Absolutely. good to be back on here. Off, off season's been good so far? Yeah, it's been good. I mean, uh, obviously went went overseas for the Worlds and made, made it a little vacation at the same time. So, uh, I mean, just got back about maybe two weeks ago. Um, so, no, no, back on the usual, back in the gym, just, just working out, doing my things and trying to get ready for next season pretty much. It's difficult to, like, completely kind of tune out hockey in the offseason because of the training and everything as well but do you find you found like a good balance a little bit to like take some breaks in the summer when you have to but also maintain that kind of off ice training and everything yeah i mean it's um it's good it's it's kind of a fine line in between it i mean you you do want to take some time off but at the same time (laughs) it's uh i've always been that guy that just likes to be on the ice and likes (laughs) fine uh roller hockey whatever it might be so um I kind of got into that and and obviously yes I, I taken some breaks and I went on vacation and t- took some uh, some time off and uh but now now to be back home and see my parents see my buddies again and and seeing everybody makes it a bit easier obviously I've been playing a little bit of golf and yeah. um doing a few things like that so uh it kind of gets your mind off it but at the end of the day I mean this is this is what we do and every time you get back home it's time to to get in the gym again you do take some breaks but um but at the end of the day, you got to get back in there and, and and get ready for the the upcoming season. You've been in the National Hockey League for five full seasons, I believe. Yep. And it's one of those things where you have your routines for game days and all the on ice stuff. Do you find it a situation in terms of the off ice? You know the you know the family or the social or the watching things and all that. Was it difficult starting your career to kind of balance those two things? Because, you know, you, you like playing video games. You like watching a lot of things as well. You're on the road. But, like, was Thomas Shabbat like a routine guy? Like, we were like, hey, on like a Sunday when I don't have a game. Like, I'm just going to watch something for a little bit, then go to the gym. Like, what was that like a little bit? I'm curious about that. You, you know what? It's always been kind of easy. Anytime I uh, it's time to play hockey, I'm ready to play hockey. And when, when we don't play, it's uh... – I really take some time to just really do do anything else but but play hockey pretty much it's it's that <laughs> simple um but no I mean it's 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 always been fun I think it's it's like you mentioned I think we find ways of uh whether it's playing video games whether it's watching a TV series or like you said even during the season on Sundays it's watching football it's, yeah um you always manage to find something that that really uh kind of takes your mind off it I mean I mean it's obvious everyone we play 82 games and yeah. Uh, not everybody understands, but it's a long season. It's a lot of games in a short uh, period of time, and um, the game can 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 get heavy at times in, in your own head and everything. So I think that's that's when you, uh, as a player, as a professional athlete, I think you find ways to really take your mind off when you don't play a game or something, and really take the chance to uh, whether it's enjoying some time with your family. Some guys have uh, families, have kids, or. Uh, for me, I have a dog and, and my girlfriend with me, and it's really about doing something else and then playing hockey. But at the same time, it's hard. I think, you know, um, you know that you have to play the next day. So you, you're, you're obviously, you have your mind on it, but, uh, but it's no, a long I think season. The, it's a long exactly. season. <laughs> yeah. It's a very long season. And I, at the end of the day, I, I found ways to really just, uh, enjoy my, my time and enjoy myself a little bit more. And, um, obviously you do want to be very serious about hockey, but at the same time, it's find the find the line in between being very very serious and and also giving yourself some time to just enjoy it. Absolutely, I told you before we started. That's enough hockey talk right now. Let's talk about other <laughs> things. You do a lot of interviews. This is not for the people looking for a Thomas Shabbat hockey interview. Like we're not going to talk about that. What have you been watching? What have you been playing? Lay it, lay, lay it down right now. What have you been watching? You know, right now I've been watching uh, Breaking Bad. I've been late yeah. on it. I tried. You know what? I tried when the show. 
um, I tried it in junior. It might have been like six, seven years ago. I tried watching and I, I didn't really get into it. Uh, everybody's always told me like the first two seasons are very slow, whatever. And uh, this year I was like, what? You know, you know what? I'm just going to give it a shot. And now I'm past the two season. And uh, I mean, every episode, there's some going on. So it's been good so far. I think I'm on season four or something. So, uh, like, do you have to finish that or can you watch things like with your girlfriend, like in between or like, do you like, are you like the type of guy that has to, like, to watch the show, finish it before starting something else? Or can you do like a couple? No, the I'm the guy that I I'm starting, I I'm starting it and I'm going to finish it. I, I don't like, <laughs> I don't like mixing stories and watching one thing. And then next thing you know, you got to start. And, and now you don't remember, you come back on breaking bad. You don't remember what's actually uh, going on, but, <laughs> That's true. uh, but you know what? I'd say I'm a, I'm a kind of uh, especially now in the summertime. I'm a slow watcher, I guess yeah. I could call myself. I I don't I, I'll watch two or three episodes, let's say in one afternoon, and then I might not watch it for like a week and a half or something. So yeah. I mean, but it's not. It's nice when I get the time in the afternoon or whatever. If it's raining outside, then that's when I usually do it. Or else I just I'll I'll, I'll go outside and enjoy the weather. A well, that's why on like YouTube and online, there's always like those recap videos of what happened the previous season. So like for yeah. the bo- the boys on Prime Video, like the superhero show, I like completely forgot what happened the fo- like the season before. Yeah. So like <laughs> it's really tough sometimes. I agree with that. Do you watch Stranger Things? No, I've never watched it. You gotta watch Stranger Things. I, know. I feel like I've talked to you. I, I feel like I bring this up to you. You gotta. It's like I went on and I did a radio hit on CFRA um, in Ottawa of Andrew Pinson, and I said I think it might be the greatest show of all time. I know. There's, uh, <laughs> there's, you know what? There's so many different people that tell me, "Hey, have you ever watched this? Have you ever watched that?" But I tell everyone, I'm, a, I'm a slow watcher, so I take a while to finish one series, and then uh, next thing you know, you get five or six suggestions from friends or whatever and then you want to get into them but then you're not done with your yeah. the one that you started that i want to be done with but you know what it's uh it's nice right now especially there's so many movies or whatever coming out on netflix so whenever oh, yeah. i guess the season starts again then we hit the road then i'll be able to to catch up on those things i give you i i feel like the, i like i've given you stuff to watch like on Instagram sometimes and then you're yeah. like cool and then like we'd like talk we do like the interview again and then you'd be like yeah by the way like I finally got around to checking it out yeah. so d- like yeah like give you that list and then maybe it takes a while but you you'll get Thomas yeah. we'll get to it eventually <laughs> yeah that's that's what it is it's eventually you can't expect to to send me a list and then a month later expect me to to, to watch the whole thing so um but you know what? It's fun. It's fun to get suggestions because sometimes you know, honestly you sit on the couch and then you open it up, whatever it might be, uh, Amazon Prime or Netflix, yeah. whatever it might be, and you start looking at shows and like you you got so many that look good, but like you never want to pick one. And then when you get suggestions, obviously it's always easier to just get in there. Do you have Apple TV Plus? Uh, yeah, I do. Okay, yeah. so because what's really interesting because you're like a pro athlete and everything, there's a bunch of shows on Apple TV Plus that are like about like sports, but they're not really about sports. And I feel like you would enjoy like Ted Lasso, right? Is like it's about like football, like soccer, but like there's more to it and everything. And there's a show called Swagger, which is based yeah. on loosely based on Kevin Durant's life growing up in youth basketball in the states. Oh, really? That he okay. produced called Swagger with uh, O'Shea Jackson Jr. Ice Cube Son is in it. It's really, yeah. really good, man. Okay. Yeah. There's one that I want to watch too is uh, Men in the Arena. Isn't that, isn't that uh, Tom Brady's show or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's yeah. one. That, that's one apparently that's very good that I uh, I want to get the chance and, and get around that one. You know, you look at like Shorzy and like there are some players yeah. like that are in like 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 Joe Dolo, like John Vadiabi, like Diaby, like you know him from the Q days, like he's in that and everything. Do you ever think about that one day? Like, would you ever want to be like on a TV show or like a movie? Like, have you ever thought about that? Like playing yourself or just playing like another hockey player? Have you ever thought about that? I don't know if I <laughs> if I would do it. I wouldn't play myself, that's for sure. But I'd be. I mean. It'd probably be fun, I think. Or especially be on like it as you, like, oh my god, yeah. it's Thomas Shabbat from the NHL, like like playing yeah, yourself, or, you know what I mean? Yeah, or even like shows, especially about hockey. I think it's yeah. fun. You've been around that your whole <laughs> life. And and I've I I haven't watched it, but I heard that Shorzy show is is good too. So um just shows like that, that 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 guys are just around making jokes, and obviously you've been around that your whole life and yeah. you kind of know what's actually going on and stuff, you've been in it. So 
but no, I think it's fun to see like all different, multiple different shows are coming out and, and people are really enjoying them. And, and that gives you a different, uh, like, obviously there's so many shows on action on, on whatever it might be, but now to see some about sports, it's, it's always fun to watch. Are you starting to realize game back a little bit to, to hockey? I lied. One more hockey question. Um, <laughs> well, no, I mean like, you know, the National Hockey League is the hardest league to play in. Does that kind of sink in like as soon as you basically step on the ice for the first couple of shifts? Like it's like it is that's the first thing I feel like that comes to mind with this league. When you think of the league, it's a good league, it's a fun, it's a fun league to watch. It's a hard league to play in. Is that always like on the back of your mind after maybe season three or four for you? Yeah, for sure. I mean, uh you see you see so many guys over the years that maybe their first year is good. And then after that, you kind of get targeted and, and obviously guys know that you're good. Um, one of the best players on your team. And then now it gets harder. And I, yeah. and I think that's just part of the learning curve. I mean, you just get through uh, three years that, that might be, maybe uh, you play really good hockey, but it's just not as easy as, as your first couple of years. And, um, I mean, I think it's part for everyone and obviously everybody's in different situations with teams and, and situation on, on teams. Some guys are, are trying to win the cup. Some guys are trying to build to eventually win the cup one day. So everything's different for every single guy and every single team. But I mean, anytime we get younger guys on our team and, um, obviously not that I'm, I'm, I'm old, I'm only 25 years old, but <laughs> at the end of the day, the younger guys that come in, it's you, you want to be there and just, and just help them. I mean, it's a, yeah. it's not an easy, it's, it's a very hard league to have success in and it's a very hard league to do it every single night. So, um, and, 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 and unfortunately I think it's a league that it's, it might get, it, it might be a little easy to get down on yourselves at times when, when things don't go your way, cause you play so many games and, yeah. um, and you haven't scored and uh, you didn't score one night. And next thing you know, in two weeks, you haven't scored in 10, 12 games. So, I mean, it's, it's a tough league, but I think those, those are things you got to learn to, to, to become one of the best in the leagues and, and be consistent. And then when I can help guys on our team and um, that's, what's fun. I think that's what we have in Ottawa. We have a good group that, that gets along together and we, we cheer on each other. But it's, it, I mean, it's always been unpredictable. Like the unpredictability for a regular season is always going to happen. Injuries, like tough bounces, right? An OT and everything. That's always going to be there. But yeah. the players are getting better. The players are getting stronger. They're getting smarter. Like that just kind of just makes it even harder, right? Like it's, there's, there's amazing players in the league. Like you got to bring it to play in the National Hockey League these days. Yeah, exactly. Like you got to bring it every single night. And that's what's hard. And yeah. Um, and I mean, there's never going to be an easy game. And I think no. you've seen it. Uh, you lose 10 games in a row early in the year and you might be out of the playoffs already. So mm -hmm. uh, the league's very competitive, but I mean, that's that's why you play the game. That's why you want to play in this league. You want to play against the best guys every single night. Um, every single team, they have four lines, six defensemen that can really play hockey and can really play it well. So, I mean, that's what makes it so much fun about playing hockey. I think it's, especially in this league, is is every single night, it's a new challenge. You're facing very talented guys every single night and you try and do your best and perform as best you can there. So I think that's what makes it great to see, uh, to see guys perform so well every year and just to see how good the league is at this point and, and to see guys even perform even better and do the things they do every year. I think that's what makes it even better. I think. Absolutely. Thomas, always a pleasure chatting with you. Thank you so much for coming back on the show. So great to catch up, man. Yeah. Thanks for having me. That was awesome. Absolutely. This is Bob Turner of YouTube.com slash Bob Turner previous episodes. Until next time, this is Thomas Shabbat from the Ottawa Senators and PD Beats signing off. Into Pop Turnative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Pop Turnative on YouTube. Be sure to like Pop Turnative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This has been an Autograph Communications production.